Okay, hi guys, welcome back to the Audio Levels channel and welcome back to another review. And this one is an absolute banger of an earphone. This blows my mind at this point. Headphones and earphones have been getting better and better at a lower and lower price, but this one, this one takes the absolute cake under $100 right now. It's not just under $100, it has an RRP of $60 and you are getting so much for your money. Like, I can't stress this enough at this point. This feels like a far, far more premium earphone from the build quality to the cable and the sound. It's got it all there. Now, Queen of Audio, as I say, Gimlet. Never heard of Queen of Audio in my life, um, but they're coming in with this earphone featuring a 10 millimeter LCP diaphragm, dynamic driver, of course, liquid crystal polymer. polymer um, so a very fast moving and capable driver that you see on variations of on far more expensive earphones. It might not exactly be that same driver, but LCP seems to be something that companies are gravitating to in the, the dynamic driver space. Now, if we take a look at the packaging again, they've hit it out the box, literally and um, box, lovely design on it, gimlet on top, specifications on the back, frequency response graph, which I did graph and it's pretty damn accurate. On the inside, you get the frequency response card, you get the contents, you get the how to use your earphones as if you don't know how to do that. And uh, you get a little contact card there with the QR codes on the back. Now you get two sets of uh, ear tips for it. you get these blue ones and you get the white ones they've got different size bores and the wider bores are going to have less impactful base and the smaller bores are going to have more impactful base it's very very slight but these earphones are so good that i definitely recommend getting a pair of these the asla send fit tips that i've got on the uh got in the canera sculled these tips are the best tips on the market bar none. I'll leave a link in the description below if you want to check them out, but they pair absolutely wonderful with this and just bump the bass just a tiny little bit. Now, where do I want to start? Let's start with the cable. Um, the cable, this is, you need to understand that $60 RRP is KZ territory. That's, that's the area KZ operating, and they've got some of the junkiest cables on the planet. This cable is a stunner. It, it looks absolutely magnificent. It is very soft, it's very pliable. It doesn't retain much memory, if any at all. The, the hardware on it is lovely. You get the 3.5 millimeter jack with the little gimlet uh, logo on it, or sorry, the Queen of Audio logo on it. Little strain relief there. It is a quad twist. So if I break it up like that, you see there's four strands that goes up to the splitter point, which is also metal. Everything is color coordinated, looks great. You have the splitter or the, the slider here, sorry. Cable cinch, whatever you want to call it. Uh, you have the perfect amount of memory wire to loop over the top of your ears and again a color matched uh, two pin connector at the top. The cable just looks fantastic. It performs well but it, it just looks so good and it just fits the aesthetic of this and makes it feel like a far more premium um, product. Now let's do the drop test and it just stays perfectly. It wraps up and it stays perfectly on its own accord. A little bit of movement. Stay. Good. Um, now let's get into the shells themselves. At this price you're typically going to expect to see some sort of resin body shell. I'll see if I can pick something else out at this price point from my drawer of earphones. I think I have under $100. Nothing in the drawer right now. But you would typically expect something like a resin shelled earphone. In fact, um, this the TRZR Oranus. A, a very similar style of earphone and also coming in at a similar price and I rated this as quite good but this is this is on another level. Um, it's an all metal body and it does have quite a shallow uh, insertion depth and minimal ergonomic functions bar the outside shape. There's no contouring on the uh, inside of the channels as you can see uh, here on the resin earphones. It is on the heavier side, not that that is too much of an issue for me. I don't really mind uh, because the build quality really makes up for that. It feels fantastic. It is a stunningly good looking earphone and when you pair it in with the 
cables itself. I just think that is such a pretty, pretty looking piece of kit. And there is a slight recess on the two pin connectors, so they've thought of everything, even down to the little turbine metal grill on the end of the earphones. Now, so that's the three things. You've got the accessories, cable, build quality, fantastic. But then you get into the sound, and the sound is so good on these. They are a kind of a do-anything earphone, and they just seem to adapt so well and play in with your music. They, they, they really sound like an earphone. I'm not going to say in the $150 range, because you're in that Tin Hi-Fi uh, P1 range with the, uh, the different drivers and stuff like that, but standing alone and taking away... Um, taking away those drivers and comparing it against other dynamic drivers, even up to $200, these are competitive. They have a lovely tuning on them that is balanced with a slightly elevated bass note on it. Uh, the treble is also slightly extended, but it's not overly hot. It's got energy in it, and that energy also alludes to this open airy sort of sound stage when you're listening to classical music when you're listening to for example 1812 overture by tchaikovsky sorry i have braces in just now and it is a uh, hard to speak and pronounce some words um you listen to tchaikovsky and you can hear like the flutes and the you can hear on jazz records the the splash of the the hi-hats and things like that it creates that open, airy, realistic soundstage and presentation that a lot of the earphones, in fact, most, if not all of the earphones under $100 fail to capture. Now, in terms of the mid-range, it is open, airy, and it is detailed, yet it's got a slight overtone of warmth and lushness to it. It's very smooth. It's well-suited to male and female vocals, but there's also enough spacing and micro-detail in there that it's going to perform well with stringed instruments, piano and uh, guitar, for example. It is very good at resolving micro detail. There's lots of things that you pick up on that you might not do on a cheaper, say, KZ earphone or another earphone at this price with um, a dynamic driver being used. And the bass is good, but it's not got a lot of sub bass extension. It's got strong bass response, um, but it's not rumbly sub bass and I think that that is the best thing to do when you're going to tune an earphone at this price is so many earphones get stuck trying to recreate this bigger bass sound and trying to do everything and they end up with a bloated mess that bleeds over into the mid-range. With this one you don't get any bleed at all, it's composed, it's structured, it's maybe not the most detailed in the mid-bass range but at this price I think that's what you come to expect. It's still very good and above what the competition is. So when I say it's not good i'm i'm not saying it's not good i'm just saying against um against earphones in the two three hundred dollar range uh, is when you're going to get a step up um i just i, I i'm kind of taken away at how this can be priced at this this price point when i got the box in and i opened everything up as i say i didn't know who queen of audio were and i i was just expecting to open up maybe have a um, a KZ or something like that when I'd heard the name um, when I actually got the box I was like that's a really nice box I was thinking okay maybe $150 or so and then I open it up and I look at the, the contents and I look at the earphones I'm like okay $150 yeah that's that's about right and then I listen to them I'm like $150 that's, there was something about that that just kept hitting me Hit me right in the face that $150 would be the perfect price point for something like this. Um, and yeah, when you hear the sound on it, it, it really jumps out as being competitive. So to get it in at that $60 price point, I think it's an absolute banger. Again, use it with these tips that, that adds a little bit of punchiness to the bass. And overall, I just think it's a really, really good earphone. So now, uh, on to what's happening with the channel. If you're new here, please go ahead and subscribe. I've taken the past month and a half off to just test and test and test earphones, headphones, amplifiers, DAPs, DACs. I have so much stuff coming out. In fact, the next video you're going to see is going to be the Q's, QKZ, another one of these influencer collaborations, I think, again, with HBB. Um, 
but there's so many videos coming out on the channel that you're going to want to subscribe and see what's coming out in the next two weeks because I think we are hitting a golden age this year where the, the real rubbish has been sorted out and companies are now starting to deliver better and better sounding and built products at a lower price than ever before. It's getting really competitive and these companies are nailing it right now. So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you on the next video. But yeah, go and check out Queen of Audio Gimlets. Sorry for hyping this, but I'm hyping it.